Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys a really interesting project, uh, a knife that could have been but sadly was not um, because it didn't reach fundraising goals. So this is the Morpheus. It is from a, a gentleman out of South Africa named Joel Scott Turner. Uh, he goes by Vitesse Design and um, this knife just came by way of Dr. Frunky who also did a video. Um, he was pretty spot on with his video. Um, I don't really disagree with anything. Um, but the difference essentially between his video and my video is that the fundraising platform that this knife was was listed on Indiegogo. Um, the project did not fund before the end of the you know the timeline, and so this knife is not actually going to go into production. So it's really interesting in that regard, in that this knife, um, you know, I already know it's not going to be made, so you know, why do a video on it is probably what some of you are asking, and here's the thing. When I saw this knife, I was kind of interested, kind of not interested. Aesthetically, it does not quite appeal to me, um, but I think that Joel is an interesting individual, and so when Joel reached out to me, and he said, hey, would you be willing to do a video on this knife? I'm trying to get it, you know, uh, funded on Indiegogo. I said, you know, I can't get to it before Blade. I have far too many videos to do. Um, if you still want to send it my way, you're more than welcome to. And he said, you know what? I'm going to send it your way. And I, I asked him, I said, what happens if this knife doesn't fund? What's your plan? And he said, you know, I've got a lot of other projects in the works. And so if this one doesn't fund, you know, bummer, but I move on and I'll be working on other things. So, you know, I like Joel. I think Joel gave, you know, we had a, a brief but um, very adult conversation about the reality of it. He didn't really place any ego or drama into the situation. And, you know, when I am uh, talking to designers and knife makers and other things, it's really nice to deal with adults. So, um, you know, I'm happy to do this video anyway. Now, here's the thing. I've seen some of his upcoming projects. Some of his upcoming projects I really, really like. And while I'm rambling here a bit, why do I think that this project failed on the fundraising platform? And that's for two reasons, uh, two reasons specifically. And that's one, no one knows who the hell Joel is. And if you don't have a known presence as a designer or a knife maker, um, you're going to struggle to sell one knife, let alone the 200 that were necessary to fund this project. Um, so one, no one knew who he was. And two, um, the design of this knife is extremely polarizing. It visually, it is it is massive visually. Even though in the hand, it's it's not really a huge knife. So, you know, visually, it's it's going the opposite way of a lot of streamlined, you know, um, smaller, sleeker, lighter weight. Um, you know, the the industry is moving more towards that direction rather than larger you know, bulkier, visually imposing types of designs. So, you know, for those two reasons, it didn't work out. Do I think that this design wouldn't ever work? No, I think this design could uh, could have legs and it could go forward and it could get funded at some point. I think this design was too much too early from Joel. Um, again, I've already seen some of the other projects. They're going to go forward without any hitch. Um, you guys will definitely be more familiar with him as, as a designer in the future. And, you know, perhaps this would be a great third or fourth knife for him to offer once people know who he is. Um, they trust his reputation and the quality of the builds. And they trust that, hey, if I see something funky like this and it comes from a designer that I've owned uh, knives from before, then I'll give it a shot. So, anyways, um, that is kind of what is up with this knife. Um, could have been, wasn't. Uh, I think it was the wrong design at the wrong time, but other things are going forward, so really no worries. So what is this knife? And it is a front flipper titanium frame lock. Um, this prototype has a, has a couple things going on, but let's get into the specs here real quick. And, you know, again, it's probably, I don't know, a pointless exercise, but you guys would want to know. So... You know, here it is next to the, you know, next to the uh, Kershaw Dividend. It's it's not significantly larger, and in fact, the uh, Paramilitary 2 is actually a little bit longer than this knife. So, blade length on this thing is about 3.3 if you're going tip to the frame. Sharpened edge is about 2.8 inches. 
uh, handle length is right around 4.5, so overall looking at an 8 inch knife. So again, it, it looks significantly larger than it actually is. On this version, uh, titanium with a DLC coating, uh, the blade steel would have been M390, and uh, ceramic bearing, ceramic detent, manufactured by Wee Knives, uh, milled titanium pocket clip, backspacer, and again, it's uh, a front flipper, so, you know, from a fit and finish standpoint, the knife is uh, is fantastic. There's, you know, it's executed by Wii. They do a great job. Um, some of the other dimensions here, it does weigh in at 5.89 ounces, which, you know, for what is a, uh, you know, 2.8 inch sharpened edge, uh, fairly hefty in terms of weight to blade ratio, if that's even a thing, so... Um, yeah. Anyway, so those are the specs for the most part. Um, obviously, very dominant in terms of width, but thickness, uh, not too bad. I forgot to do that measurement, but um, in length, a pair of two, so it's going to be around half an inch, but it is fully contoured. So, you know, again, overall impressions. Um, visually, the knife doesn't really do it for me. It, it just doesn't quite feel as, as balanced, um, but in hand, it is much, much better than it looks in pictures. You know, you've got got a full hand grip here with a contoured frame, um, very subtle kind of uh, chamfers throughout or uh, finger grooves, and so it, it's not forcing your hand into any particular position, and so it's it's quite comfortable. You have a very usable finger choil here, so um, yeah, I mean it, it's good. If if this was a user for you, um, I I think you'd be happy. I think it would feel good in the hand. Um, You'd feel like you have a lot of control. It's fairly well balanced, but you know, again, aesthetically, it's it's so wide, um, and and just visually, the, the location of the pivot isn't quite centered on the handle, and I think that bothered me a little bit. So, it's it's a it's a like slash not like type of relationship. So, um, there are a number of of changes that he had proposed. This was actually the notes that he sent to uh, Frank or Doctor Frankie. So. Less screws, uh, lanyard hole be moved, side chamfers redrawn, uh, offset the pivot face to be more centered, which is something that bothered me. Logo, I mean, so he had a, he had a lot of changes, which were all good changes that were essentially planned for this model. But um, yeah, I mean, it's it's fairly easy to open. Um, some of the changes that Frank or Dr. Frank recommended were some jimping here on the front. I think that would be a, a nice, um, nothing sharp, but some minor jimping I think would be nice just to make sure that you're not slipping on it, but yeah. I mean, ideally if this thing could be, you know, width-wise shrunken down a little bit, a little more streamlined, I think that would help visually, um, but I think the pivot going center would, would help significantly as well. Although I wonder how that would affect the action so with the pivot up here and I don't know. Either way, uh, a lot of woulda, shoulda, coulda, maybe. Um, you know, again, he may bring this out in the future once once his brand is known, once he's much better known um, among knife enthusiasts. So, yeah, um, super nice guy to talk to. Again, when I when I said I, I didn't really have time to get both to it, he was uh, very cordial, not upset, no drama whatsoever. Um, honestly, the, the South African guys are all super nice. Um, I haven't met any that I dislike. They've really got that, you know, Akuna Matata type of mentality down in South Africa. So, anyways, interesting knife. Um, this one's going on to someone else next. And again, I feel really bad that the project didn't make it because I like him. Not necessarily because I really like the knife, but um, again, he's got a lot of things in the pipeline. So, I, I don't think it's, it's not the end of the world, essentially. So... That is the Morpheus by uh, Vitesse Design, or uh, Joel Scott Turner. And uh, kind of an interesting case of what could have been, but what did not turn out to be. So, um, anyways, I, I think Frank probably delved into the details a little bit more. I think he was a little bit more um, drawn or appreciative of the overall design um, than perhaps I was. So you can go check out his video if, if you need more information. But... Since it's not coming out, um, perhaps this will be a coveted one-off um, for this prototype. The blade still was actually 8CR13 MOV instead of M390, but, you know, perhaps this one's going back to Joel, perhaps not. But I'm sure that there's someone out there who would certainly covet, uh, you know, this piece or even this design overall. So, 
Um, I think that's pretty much it for me. Um, again, I will put a link to his Instagram uh, down in the description box below. And so if you guys want to follow him and see some of his cool projects, some of the new designs that he's posting, um, that would be a good place to follow him or keep up with him. And um, I think on either on this spec sheet or somewhere else, I don't know where the hell it was now, but um, he's already got some designs, you know, contracts signed with, I think, uh, Kaiser and, and perhaps Wee Knives and some other company that I'd never heard of before. I don't know where the hell that note went, but anyways, I mean, again, stuff coming. I've said that a bunch of times, but I like the guy. I, I really hope he does well, um, and I hope to see some of his designs out soon. So thanks so much for watching, guys. You can also follow me on Instagram as Epic Snuggle Bunny, and I hope to God this video was at least somewhat interesting. So take care.